what I love about the machine for, what, what surprised me is the size of the spindle assembly. I mean, look at the it's size huge. of that. Absolutely huge. Well, for its end of the Open Tunity event here at Barmia in the Basque Country in Spain, we've seen lots of stuff here, lots of technology, different machines. What did you think? I'm so amazed with that technology that Barmia has in here. Like, they are worldwide known because of their innovation and high technology, and we get to see that in here. Like, with the T-Series that they just launched, it was awesome to see how they are improving these machines. Like, since 2011, was the first edition and now they decided to go to the second edition. Absolutely, Phil. This has been the focus of the whole event today. There's been some machining demonstrations in the morning and in the afternoon. They've been showing off a lot of different operations, a lot of different kinds of features you can make on this machine. Uh, let's have you a quick look inside. I opened it this time. Last time I tried to do this, I opened the door and it wouldn't work. I looked uh, I looked a, a little bit like an idiot. Um, but they've got so many different uh, operations on the, on the component here. What I love about the machine for, what, what surprised me is the size of the spindle assembly. I mean, look at the size of that. It's huge. Absolutely huge. When we speak to Elliot uh, earlier, one of the sales guys at Obama, and he said, Brian, if we made the spindle assembly any smaller than this, it wouldn't be able to handle the heavy duty cuts that the rest of the machine can handle. Um, the drives in the, in the, in the Y axis, the, the, the spindle is, is, I think, it's a ridiculous power in the spindle. If you didn't have a, such a big spindle assembly doing those big five axis heavy duty cuts, it probably just rip itself apart. Yeah, like when they did the demo, like all the ships that were coming, I mean, <laughs> yeah. the that door was closed, right? But they were like huge ships, like. Yeah, they were, as soon as it hit the side of the window, like Joe was like, dude, did you just see that? That was absolutely ridiculous. Um, so the chips uh, are absolutely massive. And this is some proper hardened steel. I mean, there's loads of chips around here. Um, look at the size of that. So that's some roughing, some finishing, loads of operations, deep hole drilling, five axis operations. It's amazing what you can do with this kind of machine. Why do you think people need to do all those different operations in one machine like that? I think that when you have like a very complex part, you need one machine like this, that you don't have to go to one machine to another. And also the fact that you can realize so many like turning, milling, grinding in one machine will save you a lot of space in your shop. Like it will decrease it like more than a 30% like in space. And also you can automate these machines to make your operation like way faster, more productive. Absolutely, it's really important when you're doing, you imagine like kind of energy parts, is big oil and gas stuff, they're big components, you slap them on the machine, it takes a long time to set up. If you have even a second pallet changer, which they offer uh, as a rotating pallet system, you can be setting up, doing all the really awkward stuff, setting kind of your, your finger clamps down, you might have loads of different ways to clamp the part down, just so you can access splines or holes or deep holes. All of the operations you see on this may be on a big, horrible part like this. Um, and those are going to take maybe 40 hours, up to maybe even more than 40 hours. So it's really important to get the part in the machine as soon as possible, reducing your downtime. So even a double pallet changer, but there's massive pallet pools available as well. Um, there's also loads of tooling options with kind of boring internal features, internal facing, grooving, stuff like that. So it can get quite complicated, can't it? Yeah. And also, did you know that this is their smallest machine and look at all the things that you can do in here like this the small machine they have absolutely. like can this you imagine the biggest one yeah absolutely this is 1.2 meter max diameter but they've got up to a 3.6 max diameter which i mean that much like it's more than three or four times the size of that you'd, you'd look even we'd both look even smaller in comparison oh. right um, and it's been lovely seeing the machining demonstrations here at Barmia. Uh, it's a beautiful part of the country. If you get to have a look at one of these machines, come and have a look at the factory. It's an amazing place. Yeah, or you can go to mtdcnc.com and look at the Barmia videos.